Representative Gray, you might know. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I guess as I've sat here and listened to this all day, all I keep hearing is we have a vendor for this, we have a vendor for that. There's more vendors and more vendors and more vendors. We have a vendor to now manage, to do project management. What cost is that to the state per year? I don't know off hand what certification the number is on the cost of project management office. Okay. And if I can just mention, when we put out the bid for judicial management, our contingent <coughs> who is part of that, or that vendor be the system integrator, which means they will be the one person, the one entity responsible for pulling this thing together, managing those vendors, and make sure the project works as a whole. Okay. In the business world, that's what it's like. The people at DHS would normally do is manage a project. I've worked for ASU, Ozarka, lots of higher ed institutions, and well, we manage those projects ourselves. So it's very hard for me to understand why. Like, how many employees do you guys have total? While someone with that many employees, there can't be a level of expertise that could actually manage a project. I manage construction, I do all kinds of things. Um, and then we also have a vendor to recommend whether or not we're going to continue down the same path. What cost is that to the state of Arkansas? I, if I recall correctly, I think it was a total of about $400,000, half of which we paid for the federal action funds. Okay, so we just continue to spend money to try to figure out if we're going to continue to spend more money on something that hasn't produced results yet. And one final, one final, this may just be a comment, but at some point in time, as a business person, I realized that maybe I'm having to call in the HVAC people every week. It might at some point be cheaper for me in the long run to actually hire that person to work internally for me. At some point in time, I mean, so I've heard any number between I'm on the healthcare task force as well. I've heard anywhere from $100 million to $120 million that we've spent so far in this failed endeavor. At some point in time, could we not hire staff internally with the expertise to do this at a margin, a fraction of that cost? I, I think that's certainly something the state should pursue. And it, the difficulty has been being able to be able to pay individuals salaries that are comparable to the private sector. You know, a couple examples. Uh, Farm information systems, they got some new positions that the intent was to use those new positions to help with this coding work on the EF. They were able to fill positions because those same positions just don't pay enough money to attract the kind of applicants that are needed for these jobs. Uh, another example, you know, there's a, a state where we have who was doing some good work with this project, making about 40000 a year. Uh, he's about to go off to work for an IT vendor for, I think, 140000 a year. Uh, and just the way the state personal system is set up right now, even if we had the money, we can't pay them that kind of salary. Okay, thank you. And that's something, chairs, I would like to even look into as to, you know, say we had to pay, I don't know how many, 10 or 15 data programmers, DBAs, to do this work, even at 140000 we still saved $110 million. Well, I think that's, and that's what Mr. Williams is. We've done a lot of things on the lower, whether you voted for the PO in the first place, a lot of things was dumped on them, and as he said, he didn't have any more resources. And so we want to make sure that... Uh, so then don't get hung out to dry. And so uh, it's people that sponsor at the top and people that pass the bill.